I thought I would continue vlogging here and there and today I wanted to do a cook with me. My husband's going to be coming home from Milan soon so I wanted to have some Zuppa Toscana soup ready. Zuppa Toscana is one of those recipes for me that I don't use a recipe for anymore because I've made it so many times. I just kind of I already know it like the back of my hand. You can find a ton of great recipes online but for me I feel like I just kind of know it at this point so I just roll with it. I will say that having your ingredients prepped and everything cut and chopped is makes the process a whole lot smoother and you don't really need a lot of ingredients so this is why we love this recipe and it's really good. My kids not so much but my husband and I we love it. So you're going to need some kale, bacon, we do hot and mild Italian sausage like a mix of the two some potatoes, onion, maybe garlic or whatever other spices and seasoning you want and then I have some broth and heavy whipping cream and that's essentially it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I'm pretty sure that covers everything. And I already have my onion all chopped and diced. My potatoes are kind of cut into, I cut them in half and then just cut along the potato. I'm about to chop up my bacon and fry it so that that is ready and then I'm going to start on the Italian sausage. And then we're gonna we're gonna make some delicious yummy soup. By the way, we got an Alexa Echo Pop today, and the kids have been loving it, enjoying it, and I have too. And I actually have a smart plug connected to my espresso machine, and it connects to the smart plug, so I can say, Alexa, turn on the espresso maker. Okay. And you guys saw that red light. Alexa, turn off the espresso machine. Okay. So cool. We are so late to the whole Alexa thing. But Alexa, play some Christmas jazz. The station, Jazz Christmas, on Amazon Music. Nope, we're still yellow. Oh well. Soup is almost done. You just need 10 minutes for the potatoes to boil and then once they boil, you add in the kale and let that simmer for another five minutes. And then turn it off, add in the heavy cream. One thing we forgot is like fresh parmesan. Ugh. You know the Olive Garden fresh parmesan that just keeps going and going. I was scrolling Instagram stories and I saw a hilarious post I wanted to share with you guys. If you're a mom, it says, no one lies more than a mom that says, we'll see. Because we ain't seeing nothing. <laughs> like, well, if that ain't the truth, then I don't know what is. Send it to my husband. I'm like cracking up, which he should be home soon. And I want to see if I can film him. I want to do, there's a... I don't know what it's called. I just saw somebody post on Instagram. Mila Boo, I don't know if you guys follow her. She does like beauty stuff. Milana, she actually used to live. I know her personally. Like, I'm not close, close with her, but I actually know her personally. She grew up in the same area. Like, our parents know each other. We went to the same church kind of thing. But, um, it's called the Name a Woman Challenge. And you're supposed to ask your husband, like, name a woman and see what his first answer is going to be. I'm trying to see if he's going to trip up and try to name somebody other than this woman right here <laughs> it's just like a dumb a dumb challenge but i want to see i'm curious like what is this man's answer going to be
later. Cleaned up, lower the kids' beds, they brush their teeth, getting them ready for bed. It usually takes them a little bit of time to unwind and actually fall asleep, so they're just laying in bed, and then eventually they fall asleep. I actually have, have been having a hard time falling asleep and kind of getting a good night's rest. Like I'll wake up and I don't always feel rested. So I was really tempted to try this, the beam powder that like the beam dream powder that I see a lot of influencers talk about, but it's really expensive. It retails for $95 and they have different flavors. I think one of their original flavors is like cocoa cinnamon, which is sounds so delicious. Definitely sounds like something I would love. You just drink a hot cup of cocoa before bed and people say it's really helped them because it has a blend of I don't know if it's nano hemp, but it has like melatonin, L-theanine, magnesium. All of the magnesium that it has is magnesium citrate, I think. And the magnesium that helps with restfulness and sleep and relaxation is usually magnesium glycinate, if I'm not mistaken, from the research that I've done. So, I don't know, but overall I've just heard really great things about it. I just couldn't fathom paying $95 for it. They had a Black Friday sale where it was like... I don't know, $45 maybe, something like that. But I was like, oh, that's still kind of a lot for a month supply, $45 just for like the first month. And then after that, it's like up to $95 or whatever. But I went on Amazon, tried to see if I could find something similar. And they do have a lot of different powders, but none of them had like very similar ingredients to that. And I just randomly, randomly saw this. I'm sure you guys are so familiar with the brand Sugar Bear. And I bought this myself and I'm going to give it a try and let you guys know. Um, I don't know how I feel about the whole brand sugar bear, but it just had ingredients that I felt like would work. So it has L-theanine, which I actually have supplement form L-theanine, but I'm almost all out. Six milligrams of melatonin. I'm kind of on the fence about melatonin. It doesn't always help me. And then they have like their proprietary blend. So it's lemon balm, blue passion flower, valerian root, which is more of a natural ingredient. And then it has five hydroxy tryptophan extract i think you're supposed to take two yet yeah, two gummies and this is a month supply i don't remember how much i paid for it hold on 29 dollars. so definitely way less than the beam dream and we'll see i don't want to take it right right now because it's still kind of early i like to unwind and have my me time in the evening like when the kids go to bed i will do my skincare i already did my skincare took my makeup off i like to do my workouts do my pilates and just have my me time once the kids go to bed so i'm not going to take it just yet but right before bed i will and then i'll let you guys know tomorrow i'm gonna we're gonna play a game i'm gonna ask you a question you have to answer them well the you gotta say the first thing that comes to your mind like i'm asking you a question like name a fruit <coughs> you gotta say the first thing that comes to your mind and i'm just gonna ask you a bunch of questions okay you ready yeah okay name a fruit blueberry name an animal turtle name a place Hawaii. Name a woman. You. Yes, you got it. Why? Because <laughs> you you gotta. It's like a trick question. Like, I pass. You pass. Okay. a cup of coffee i already had a cappuccino we had quite an eventful morning which i will love to tell you all about but first let me make myself a pour over coffee so let's make one together But just wishing to be outdoors. Sorry, girl. It's a crazy world out there. The kids are finishing up their breakfast and they're playing a game of chess. And then I told them they have to start for school. I wanted to share about our super eventful morning as well as some Amazon packages that I got in. But I'll share about that once I think. Try. 
Thank you so much. It's like they know they just know exactly when to walk by and make your camera lose focus right chai thank you so much okay refocused <laughs> the sugar bear gummies i feel like they worked so well melatonin usually doesn't work for me i'll take melatonin i tried valerian root and it never really makes me drowsy or sleepy or want to fall asleep but these here my husband is usually a night owl through and through he's worked night shift for years and years and years and years he can stay up until like four o'clock in the morning he'll sleep four or five hours and then he's good to go that's like his regime and he just has a hard time falling asleep i gave him two of these it says serving size is two so i gave him two me too i went in to ask him a question and he was like passed out sleeping and i was like okay i'm gonna ask him in the morning and he's like yeah those things like knocked me out he's like i was gonna do some research on my phone and then next thing i know he's like out and i feel like same for me i was gonna watch a movie with my daughter but a little bit through the movie i'm like okay i can't finish watching this i like falling asleep literally falling asleep i feel like they worked so well and i stayed asleep all night i woke up once because my husband was coming in the kitchen to get some water it was like i don't know two three in the morning maybe and then five o'clock in the morning Five o'clock in the morning, my kids, the younger two, decided it was time to wake up and I heard them fighting over some Uno or something in their room here. So I was like, no, it's five o'clock in the morning. We are not doing this. It is way too early. I separated them two. And eventually everybody fell back asleep, but at that point I was like wide awake. So I decided to start my day, make myself some coffee. And I've been doing the 12 mornings of coffee from Beanbox. So I decided to do a pour over since this is a lighter roast. I turned on the stove to boil the water and then quickly realized there's no propane. We have two propane tanks and when one of them runs out, you have to physically go outside and switch it over to the other one. I didn't feel like waking my husband up, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make an espresso using my espresso machine. So I decided to pull an espresso shot, and when I was basically done, the power went out. My espresso machine turned off. Luckily, I was already done, but like the Christmas tree went out. So what happened was I turned on the space heater, since it was like 68 degrees for me that was like cold so 68 degrees in the house i'm going to turn on the space heater because it's chilly in the space heater we have a designated plug for like we turn it on there's a plug above the microwave because otherwise it will over what's the word i'm looking for overload overload it will overload the circuit and it just caused the certain outlets to kind of lose power so it was a christmas tree espresso machine but luckily i was done at that point but i was like man what a morning i just want a cup of coffee let a girl enjoy her coffee and but you know i got my coffee it tasted delicious and then we just got an early kind of like an early start to a day and my kids i feel like are i can't tell if they're fighting or they're arguing i think they're like play fighting and it's always fun and games until somebody gets hurt always i wanted to share about some amazon packages that came in the first one is this super cozy pj set here and it's from the brand Equare, Equare, I'm honestly not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I found this brand myself on Amazon a year ago when I was looking for some pajamas for the Christmas holiday season, and I actually shared about them in my nighttime routine. I said they're hands down my favorite PJs on Amazon. Like if I was to recommend any PJs on Amazon, 100% I would vouch for those. There are these here, and I got them in this beautiful, it's almost like a forest green, but it has a tiny tint of blue in it compared to something that's like green green like the wreath right there see how this one has like a little bit of blue in it and i have washed them i've had them for about a year now and i've washed them so many times and it's not like i was being super careful as how i should have been with them and i feel like they have held up so well they're still as soft as when i first got them they're not like pilling on me or and nothing like ripped or tear tore or anything like that i feel like they are 100 percent worth the price and i really hope their quality is still the same because i feel like these are just the best pajamas that i have tried there you can tell by the material that they're like a thinner material but they have like a good weight to them i don't feel hot in them they're not uncomfortable and my favorite part is the length of the pants because i'm five six and for me they hit like all the way to the floor so these ones right here have the black like satin trim one thing that i will say is make sure to tie it especially when you're washing it because otherwise the ribbon can kind of go inside and you have to fish it out but they are just so comfortable 
and I just love them so much. So when the brand reached out to me for a potential collaboration, I was like, yes, I already love your brand. I love your products. I would love to. So they sent me a few pajamas. One of them still hasn't come in yet, but I wanted to share about this one here. I slept in it last night and I feel like it is such a great lounging set. I originally wanted it in the lighter gray melange color or like the khaki color, but those were sold out. I actually still might buy them myself because I love the khaki color so much or like the lighter gray melange. So I settled on this one here and these are also very, very soft. I actually love the melange type pattern. These have white piping. I'll try to actually insert a video side by side as I'm talking a, of a full body shot so you guys can see what it looks like on me. I got a size small. I will say the only thing is the pant legs are not as long as these right here. Probably go for a medium next time just because I prefer my pant legs to go like down to the floor almost. I'm 5'6", so if you're like shorter than 5'6", I feel like they'll be perfect for you, but just for me in particular. But I still love them. I feel like they're insanely comfortable. They're really, really soft. And this is just like a really great lounging set. Like this would be perfect to lounge around in or if you are pregnant, I feel like they'd be really great for pregnancy or post baby. I feel like I wish I knew about these when after I had my kids because you like live in things like this or after the hospital. I also have their satin ones, but I put them, I think they're underneath the bed because I use them for like the springtime. I got like a pink satin set. I'll try to insert a photo here. And I got them around Mother's Day as kind of like a mommy and me set. So I got them for my girls and for myself. And it was like the cutest thing ever. And then when the next one comes in, I'll show you guys that one. That one's like a shirt dress. I do love shirt dresses as well, especially if you get like some cozy socks. I got me some cozy socks on Amazon the other day. So I feel like a shirt dress, a pajama shirt with some cozy socks. It's a vibe. It's actually a few days later, but I had the other pajama come in, so I wanted to show you guys. It's this pajama shirt dress here, and I'm just going to go ahead and steam I got this small little steamer on Amazon, so I'm going to go ahead and steam it real quick. And the steamer is so powerful, especially if you're looking for like a small compact one. I don't know. I feel like it just works really well. All right, I just gave it a quick steam so that it doesn't look as wrinkly, but I got chose the one in white. It does come in other colors. This one is definitely see-through, even with like lighter undergarments underneath. But I'm not out here trying to wear this out in public. This is definitely a fancier pajama. But these would be great even just to like lounge around in and are really comfortable. Sometimes I love me a shirt dress pajama, and this one is really nice. I love the long sleeves for the winter time and I just think it's really cute. And it does come in other colors if you don't want the white one. And I love the length as well. I feel like it's like the perfect length. I forgot to button this button right here. So let me button that. I'm 5'6 and this is the length on me. Wear it with some cute tapachki. And I feel like it's just like a really cute, really cute pajama. So I wanted to share that in the video as well because this one did come in and I'm really happy with this one as well. So the next item is a purse. And I actually have this in my saved for a later cart for maybe two, two to three months. The first time I saw it, it was not available on Prime and there weren't really any reviews. So I was like, oh, I don't know, it might be a little bit of a risk. And then I was watching a vlog from Julian Hunter Havens and she bought the designer version of this. And I was like, that is so beautiful. I originally wanted it in like a chocolate color, but then I saw her showing the sage green one. But it was also $50, a little more, I think. So I was like, I don't know, for vegan leather, faux leather, it's just kind of a lot, so I just held off on it, and then I couldn't stop thinking about it. I kept going back to it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull the plug, and I'm so happy with it. I haven't worn it yet, and I haven't, like, really... I just got it yesterday, but you guys, how cute is this bag? The size is so much cuter than I thought it would be, and it's the perfect size. It's not too small where you can't fit anything in it, and it's not too large where you feel like you're, you have a whole tote. It's like a small tote size, and the color is gorgeous, like a muted sage green of sorts. And then it has this gold buckle. Again, I just got it in yesterday, so I haven't really unwrapped it. And it has two compartments on the inside. The lining is green, and it has like a zipper pocket here. It is just... It's so beautiful. So beautiful, I cannot wait to wear it and I'm so glad that I purchased it. It doesn't like really smell weird or anything. It also has like a longer strap right here so you can wear a crossbody if you wanted to. I feel like having a purse with some color definitely adds some pop. It is a little bit steep for being a faux leather type purse, but it's like a nice soft leather and it seems very similar to how I have two other bags that are like similar to this material and those have held up really well. Let me actually show you guys those bags. They're also both from Amazon and they're like 
they look designer, but they're not one of them. I actually don't know if either of them is available. A lot of my bags, now that I'm looking at all of them, are from Amazon, but the first one is this white one here. It's also very similar, very, very similar, and it's like very soft, faux leather. I got this one probably like two years ago, and I love it. I just don't think it's sold anymore, and then I got this orange one for the summertime, probably also a year or two ago. I can't remember, but it's kind of like my little collection of these knit type bags. You can find so many different bags on Amazon nowadays and I don't know, they've just held up. I wore this one so many times and it's held up really well and it looks like it's very similar material to this. It's also faux leather, it's not real leather. So I'm really hopeful for this bag here. So, so far I would recommend it, but you know, at the end of the day, it's y'all's money. So, you know, spend it wisely. But I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I was kind of editing the footage and there was quite a lot already. So we are gonna end the vlog right here. Just kinda wanna show you guys this vest. It is a Friday. I'm gonna hopefully have this vlog up by Sunday. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Check the description box for any links. As always, I appreciate you guys shopping through my links. It really helps me out. Thank you guys for hanging out and I really hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.